Hi, I'm Will Carroll from Baseball Prospectus here for Pro Trade TV. Let's talk a little bit about Mark Pryor. Yeah, it's time to talk about him again, and I will pretend that I don't have a personal interest here. Mark Pryor was, of course, the model for my book, Saving the Pitcher, and a lot of people have called me on the fact that he ended up injured, and we called him one of the guys with so-called perfect mechanics. How did it happen, and what happens now? A lot of teams are interested in Pryor. Why? Because he still has a lot of potential. As we saw when he was able to pitch, he could still pitch effectively. Is he going to be that ace? Is he going to be that superstar we all expected? Is he going to live up to his high draft pick status in that 18-win season that he had? That remains to be seen. But one thing we have noticed over the last couple of years is that baseball is always going to give people a second chance, a third chance, especially if you're left-handed or a pitcher with the potential of a prior. Pryor came off surgery with Jim Andrews last year, wasn't able to throw all season long, and is in the rehab process still. But when we look at pitchers that have come off Tommy John surgery, when we look at pitchers that have come off labrum repairs, they've always gotten that shot. When the best possible option out there is Kyle Loesch, giving Mark Pryor a one-year contract and seeing what happens isn't the worst thing. What's the odds that he can come back? What's the odds that he can be effective? Well, 50-50, maybe a little bit less. Is he ever going to be Mark Pryor again? Probably not. Can he be an effective pitcher? Well, that remains to be seen. But in today's economic environment, it's certainly a risk that many teams are going to have to look at. Whether it's the Astros, the Mets, the Yankees, or the Padres, there are a lot of teams looking at him with the idea that Pryor's potential might still be there. I'm Will Carroll from Baseball Prospectus. Thanks to Pro Trade TV.